Good morning again, guys. Okay, it's like six o'clock, and I've been going for three hours already. Uh, had to get up this morning to start the smoker, get things going, stuff like that. And came to a realization, six o'clock in the morning. Self-sufficiency is impossible. I know, you guys are going to go, but, 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 hear me out, okay? I look at what I've got to do today, okay? Got up at 3 o'clock in the morning. What I've got to do, just to keep going right now. I mean, I've got to smoke this meat. That takes time because I've got to keep the fire going, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't do it itself, okay? I've got to go to the dump and get rid of my trash. I've got to get some work done on the tables in the garage. I've still got to clean out gardens uh, and get those put away for the winter. Mm, gee, I still have to rake leaves, cut the grass, that sort of stuff, get that t stuff turned into compost. I've got compost that needs to go into the garden so that can sit and finish maturing with the natural soil over the winter. Let alone everything else that, you know, oh, gee, you've still got to do laundry, cook, cook dinner or whatever, you know, all the other things to do. This is what I'm saying. Self-sufficiency is impossible. You can have every skill in the world, okay? You could be a master gardener, a master carpenter. You could know blacksmithing, et cetera, et cetera. There just isn't enough time to do everything. Time marches on. There's 24 hours in a day. I don't care what you do. You cannot make a day have 26 hours in it, all right? It doesn't happen. You still got to sleep, and God knows I don't get much of that. And from the looks of it, not many of you get that much sleep either. This is the thing. It's okay to ask for help, all right? Human beings are social creatures. There are a few people out there, very, very few, who can live a solitary lifestyle and make it. But when you see those people it doesn't it doesn't look like they are having a enjoyable life okay they're busting their ass and you know 24/7 and you you need to stop and smell the roses every once in a while i look around here okay i've got a good amount of skills not all of them i mean Y'all know I don't have any livestock, none, okay? No chickens, no pigs, no cows, no whatever, all right? I need somebody else to help me provide that. It's, it's just, it's a simple matter of that. It, that would be more time to do something that I don't have the time to do. I mean, you think about it. Let's say... Tomorrow morning, an EMP goes off, and we're plunged into darkness. All right, what do you have to do? You, first, you're going to scramble, and you're going to go, okay, I've got to put generators on whatever, get candles out, et cetera, however you're going to do all that sort of stuff. Okay. But over time, what are you going to have to do? Well, you're going to have to figure out how to eat, how to cook. Okay. Well, it's a little more difficult than turning on the oven and go, poof, there's fire. Or pump it, popping something in the microwave and go, great, in two minutes I've got, you know, hot meal or whatever. You know, now it's, oh, I've got to build a fire. I've got to stoke the fire. I've got to cook over something that's got a variable temperature. Whatever. It takes time. Oh, gee, but you know what? It means I've also got to go get firewood. Or I've got to go fish or hunt for the food, which means I've got to spend the time to do that. I've got to clean the fish. I've got to skin the deer or the rabbit or whatever you have, which all takes time, which is time you don't have to do other things. You know, you go back to the 1800s or whatever, and you look at the family size, and yes, there were plenty of babies that died, okay? I'm not saying... But, you know, mom and dad had six kids. Why? Not because, gee, they, you know, like to get busy in the bedroom all the time. It was, we need more help around here. Let's have another kid. Okay? I mean, 
literally procreation was part of a survival mechanism rather than, gee, I want to have a little bit of fun and I want kids. Yeah, I know that sounds a little weird, but yeah, that had a lot to do with it. You look even these days on uh, family-owned farms and things like that as opposed to commercial, okay? And family-owned farms, everybody in a family is working on the farm. I mean, I've mentioned the channel Veggie Boys all the time, you know. And that's a family farm, and everybody's out there. I mean, mom and dad and brothers and grandma and wives and cousins and et cetera, et cetera. And they're all working toward the same goal, okay, to keep one entity, their business, which in a nutshell is their family running, okay. The same thing's going to happen in an SHTF situation. And this is why everybody talks about, and I talk about all the time, establishing a mag. It doesn't have to be 40 people, okay? Six or eight people is probably going to be enough. It's probably, it's probably going to be all that you can handle because six or eight people are going to have six or eight different opinions on how to do different things and what needs to get done and how to prioritize stuff. And even with six or eight people, you're still going to get the, I don't want to do that. That's not my job. Somebody else is better. I'm tired. I don't feel good, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're still going to get all that. Okay. Take two people, I don't care, and they don't have the same work ethic, the same anything. All right. And this is what I'm saying. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You can't do it all. Do not drive yourself insane trying to do it all. There's going to have to be things that you're going, you know what? This just ain't getting done. There aren't enough hours in the day. You know, prioritize. What was more important? Hmm, gee, eating was more important than... I don't know, planting flowers today or cleaning my garden or whatever it would be. I'll get to it when something else isn't there. I've talked about organization. I've talked about prioritization. I've talked about mags. You guys got to put this stuff together and realize I don't care who it is. There are a lot of people that have a boatload of skills and they don't have them all. Okay. I don't care if you're a master carpenter, a master gardener, a ma master livestock raiser, whatever it would be. Are you a master doctor? Probably not. Okay. You know, what about sewing? You know, <laughs> little things like that. Hauling a bucket of water. Okay. You know, every single one of those things takes time. And you're not going to have enough. You're going to need help, all right? Do not be ashamed. Do not be afraid to ask for help. I know we all have, preppers have a very independent streak in us, okay? I can do it all. Yes, you can, okay? If you've added the skills that you need over the course of however many years you've been awake, you know, you've, figured out how to do a lot of this stuff. It's, do you have the ability to do it? You know, I got to cook dinner. I've got to cut firewood. I've got to plant tomatoes. I've got to pick green peppers, whatever it is. I've got to darn my socks. I've got to wash my laundry, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What is, where's your priority? What's the most important thing to do? Can you live another day with a hole in the sock? Probably. Can you live another day without water? Maybe. Can you live another day in the dead of winter without a roof over your head? Probably not. Okay. You know, those things take priority. You've got to figure those out. But don't ever be afraid of asking for help. You know, even in the situation we're in right now. If you need to go to the food bank, swallow your pride and go to the food bank, okay? If you need to go to Goodwill to get a couple of blankets because going to Walmart is too expensive, go to Goodwill and get a couple of blankets or clothing or whatever you need. 
SHTF is not going to be a fashion show. Nobody's going to care if you've got a brand new pair of jeans on or anything like that. What they're going to care about is that you're still alive and still able to participate, okay, as part of the group. You're not going to be able to do that if you're cold, naked, and hungry. Don't be afraid to ask for help, guys. There's a lot of it out there. And in our community, the entire Prepper community, there's a lot of people that are willing to help in whatever ways they can. We see that all the time, all right? Just, I know, swallowing your pride sucks. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. But eventually there's going to be a time where it's, there's no time left. And when there's no time left, then what do you do?